You finally found your dream home, but you missed out because you weren't prepared. Here are three things that you should have together before you start looking for your home. I'm Daniel Blattman, and this is Living NYC. Number one, get your finances in order. Now, this is pretty simple, but you wanna figure out what your buying power is. This includes what are your salaries, how much cash do you have in the bank, what are your stocks and bonds that you're willing to play with, 401k does not count, and just in case we stretch the budget a little bit, do you have family assistance? It is New York City, and this is specifically for New York, where we have co-ops. We also have great income and also a lot of expenses. So I've seen properties at either being a first-time home buyer that's buying something for $600,000, also a first-time home buyer or a second-time home buyer who's buying something for five or six million dollars. All of these things can certainly help and then get you the home that will be a smart investment. Number two, getting your pre-approval. Is going with a big bank the most important thing? Is it going with the bank that you currently use or is it a different bank? Then there's getting a pre-approval and talking to different banks, which I absolutely recommend. Also, with your buying power, it's really important to understand, are you going for a co-op or a condo? Because they underwrite you different based off of your debt to income ratio. A co-op is looking for 28% or less, whereas a condo, maybe looking for 42% or potentially even more. Because we wanna make sure you're gonna get the best rate, find the best program, and have the banker that's gonna make your life easy and also recommend products. Are you gonna go with an interest-only loan? Are you gonna go with an ARM, which is an adjustable rate mortgage? Or are you gonna go with a, say, 30-year fixed, even though the average home ownership in New York is seven years? So we can find a custom solution for what is going to work for you and what's gonna help you reach your goals. And finally, number three, what are your priorities? What are your non-negotiables? Do you need washer dryer in the apartment? Do you need it in the building? Does it not matter? Do you need to be able to have pets? Do you need to be able to have kids? Do you need a one or two bedroom? Do you need a yard or outdoor space or a gym? Figuring out that aspect, because regardless of your price point and even my buyers that have bought things up to $16 million or more, they're still giving up something. So it's always there and understanding what your non-negotiables are helps us approach the search with an open mind so that we can be a little bit more creative to find the right solution. Getting all your ducks in a row before you start the search or even in the first two conversations that we get to have together is incredibly important because we don't know when we're gonna find the right home for you. It might be in the first home, it also might be in two years after we start looking in the first place, which I hope not, but it happens. When you need help getting your ducks in a row to make sure you don't miss out on your dream home, be it introductions or just a conversation to understand what your priorities are, give me a call. I'm Daniel Blattman, and this is Living NYC.